Hey no family, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. I hope you all are doing well. Your girl's back with a another video. I'm back today with a another spring look. If you all didn't catch my live a few days ago where I did my first spring look of the year, um, it was super, super cute. You all can find the video to that on my channel under the live tab, but we're back today with another spring look. So today's spring look was inspired by one of my subscribers and fellow Virgos, my girl Kanisha. Hey girl. Um, she, pretty much I did a press one set for her, but she came up with the, like the whole look nail for nail and the way she put that together was absolutely like chef's kiss, but I expected nothing less, but it was so freaking cute y'all. I literally had to recreate it. I was so inspired. So that is what we're going to be doing for this set. The shade that I'm going to be doing for this set is going to be like a tapered duck. Same that I did for her set. And by the way, I'll put her set on the screen so I can see. And by the way, also the video for her press on set will be coming soon after this video. But anyway, um, we're going to be doing a like tapered duck. And as you all can see, I already have my tips prepped and on the... So in order to create this like long tapered duck shape, because I don't have like tips like this exactly, I pretty much glued on the Nail House's 3XL taper square tips at the base, cut them down some, and then I added a little... Um, duck tip at the free edge so and that's that is how it looks there and for this set I'm going to be using this acrylic powder here which is Mia Secrets Cover Pink acrylic for the entirety of this set and then I'm going to be doing all of the designs on top as usual I am using Nail House's size 16 cleanse deep brush paired with our pro monomer to do this set and anyone interested in shopping Nail House can find the link to their site in the description below use my code Portia for savings um, also, one of these days, I'm going to go ahead and post a tutorial, um, you know, like a quick, quick little tutorial on how I get like the shape of these nails as well as the moon shape at the tip. But pretty much I take my, I took my e-file as well previous to applying the acrylic. You all didn't see it off camera. And I did like a slight little moon shape at the tip so that I can get that started before um, application. And then of course, I'm going to go in afterward and like kind of reiterate that shape and like, you know, clean it up and make it how I really want it to look but yes you all for the time being I'm gonna let you all go ahead and enjoy watching this application and I'll pop back in and aim it
I just wanted to pop in to point out how like meticulous and neat I'm being with the application. I normally try my best to anyway, but I'm extra careful when I'm doing nails like these, like duck nails. Um, and the reason I say that is because with duck nails, shape of them can be a little bit tricky, which a lot of people like kind of struggle with. Um, I do show and share my methods of how to shape duck nails um, and like the videos that I do duck nails, including this one here. But pretty much one of my like top tricks is to make sure that you get the application down pretty good with doing duck nails because um, because then you'll go have you have to go in and do a lot of filing, especially like under um, the sides where that curve is and like pretty much at the flare part. That's really important. Um, you can of course go in with your e file, but I feel like I honestly feel like it's not really the same like anymore so i kind of try to do my application as neat as i possibly can to avoid doing a whole lot of shaping at that you know free edge um at the like you know sides and things underneath the, where the curve is in the flare because essentially we don't want to take away the flare and because these nails aren't really like straight down from the cuticle or the side walls you know where free edge is all the way down to the free edge of the nails like the very tip um since it's not like a straight slope you won't go in and file like you normally do but i'm gonna show you all exactly how i do that but like i said one of my like tricks is to get the application really good where i don't have to go in and doing too much filing if that makes sense also don't get me wrong i can shape any nails i can shape anything and you walk in too but what I'm pretty much saying is that you want to preserve that initial and natural shape as much as you possibly can without having to do too much filing, if that makes sense. So I just wanted to pop in to say that in a second here, you are going to see me like hold my middle fingernail and like wave my hand back and forth. And it's because I currently in this at this time in this video, at this point, I had a heat spike on that nail. And pretty much what a heat spike is, is like when the acrylic heats up so much that your natural nail burn, if that makes sense. Um, and that happens from like using, it can be one or a few of many things like using too much monomer at that point. You know point or like um building up the acrylic too much where it starts to heat up and it's already like warm and different things like that can cause a heat spike but um yeah i had a heat spike on that nail and you all saw that i pretty much sprayed some alcohol and kind of held it down and that kind of helps relieve the burning it's like the burning sensation is like a couple of seconds but when it does burn it really hurt but yeah that's all that it is you either use too much monomer at that time compared to the ratio of the acrylic powder or you build the acrylic up too thickly or too thick too quickly which in my case that is what happened to me i'll be trying to move out when i'm doing these nails y'all so um i probably should have waited you want to wait a little moment in between the time you just keep applying the acrylic just a little bit so that it can begin to you know like dry before keep on piling the acrylic on there because that will cause you to have a heat spike um or it also could the temperature in your room can play a part as well if it's too warm and and all these things are um and or it could be one or multiple of these things but then also it could be that like your natural nail is too thin like it's thinned out and in my case it's not the case for me because i don't even prep my nails but it could also be that as well so it's nothing at all really to be alarmed about even though it hurts really bad in the moment but it's nothing to be alarmed about. You just go ahead and spray a little bit of alcohol and apply a little bit of pressure and it should go away within seconds. But alrighty, you all, as you all can see, we are, or we have completed the application and I'm loving the shape and just everything I live for. I love application, y'all, it's my favorite part. And especially when I can get it like smooth, like I just love it, I love it, I love it. And I love, love, love this shape, like love it. Um. We're gonna move on now into shaping and filing of the nails. 
those of you who are new, I like to mention every time that because I know I have new people watching all the time. And if you are new here, welcome and thanks for joining and thank you all for joining. But um, for those of you who are interested, I do have a full in-depth shaping tutorial on my channel where I show you all how I achieve different shapes starting from beginning, um, you know, like with the square tip and, you know, just show you all different shapes pretty much i do have a full tutorial of that on my channel and that video is linked in the description below if you are new as well i do have other videos down here like application videos um like tips and tricks videos um and when i say tips and tricks i mean i do like have a couple of videos down there like a part one and part two of how to like grow your youtube channel i have some videos like how to make acrylic press-ons without them quote unquote shrinking like you know getting smaller i have a whole lot of like little um key videos down there that's linked in the description below but you all can browse my channel i have like a ton of videos that are very helpful i also have like playlist on my channel where you can find videos a little bit easier because we're pushing probably i don't even know how many more maybe like almost 400 videos like we're over 300 videos but yeah anyway i'll let you all go ahead and watch this shaping and fouling not gonna talk too much i am using my 80 80 grit foul to do so i'm a hand foul girl i love using my hand foul pretty much for the entirety of shaping the nails but i do go in with my e-file um afterward to go ahead and like sew the cuticles and file the free edge um also though in this particular video because we are doing duck nails um you are pretty much going to see or probably have seen already where, because I told you all when you're doing duck nails, you don't want to get rid of that flare the tip. You want to keep that. So in order for me to like not mess with that, I pretty much turned my file like, um, like vertical a little bit. That, like I file the sides of the nails like this. You all see that there. I'm not focusing at the free edge at all. I don't have it like parallel against the nail going up and down. I turn it to the sideways, you know, and file that way. And then you're all going to see me take um, my e-file afterward and kind of like, you know, go under the sides of the nails where I feel like it can be a file a little bit more. But for the most part, I just don't, I don't pretty much touch the underneath sides that much. But you all are seeing what I'm doing here. Let y'all go ahead and watch the, you know, rest of this part and I'll pop back in in a bit. So I wanted to point out that I changed e-files halfway through only because the one that I was using initially was a hand piece, like a handheld one and it was completely cordless and it's not attached to like a large motor. Um, and because of that, it wasn't going as quickly or wasn't as powerful as I wanted to for this part of the nails. I really like when I'm doing like the free edge and cleaning up the nails um, at that point to be like, like at a high speed. Um, 
so I switched to my other Melody Susie drill. Both are Melody Susies, both are really great, but I just switched to the one with my larger motor. Um, but anyway, as you all can see, I'm taking my e file now and I'm just pretty much uh, creating, you know, like reiterating my moon shape at the free edge and just cleaning that up a little bit. I did take my e file and go in at the sides a little bit, like where the curve was, just kind of cleaned up only on some nails, like a couple of nails, um, where I feel like it needs to be cleaned up. But for the most part, like I was telling you all, I pretty much kept the natural curve of the nails and I left it as it was after application and yeah I'm gonna go ahead and continue completing my moon shape and then seal the cuticles and then we're gonna buff the nails and clean them and we'll move on to this nail art. Alrighty y'all, so this is how we're looking with the nails complete with the shaping. I'm absolutely loving it. I really, really like the tapered duck nails, like really. I never was a really big fan of the like super wide, super flare duck nails. I love like a subtle tapered flare, if that makes sense. So yeah, and I'm loving the longer duck nails. I never thought I'd say it a little bit, you know, better like a teeny bit better than the shorter duck nails they're all really really cute but i love this look tapered and then like a subtle flare but anyway i'm gonna go ahead and dust and clean off the nails now with a little bit of alcohol and things and then we're gonna move on into the nail art well i meant as you all can see first buff then dust and clean off the nails and then move into the nail art Alrighty y'all, so getting into the nail art, if you all couldn't tell by the earlier picture, we're gonna be doing like some moss nails, right? Um, and I needed like a perfect kind of like, not perfect, but like almost matchy green to do so. So I'm gonna be using these three gels right here from Nail House and mixing them together, which is gonna be their Jungle, Limewire, and Olivia. I'm gonna mix those together until I get like the perfect, or not the perfect, but pretty much like the closest green shade that I'm looking for that matches the moss. I'm also going to be incorporating this glitter gel right here, this like silver holographic glitter gel that I got from this brand name F. Zanis on Amazon. I'm going to be using that for my bling nails. And then I'm going to be incorporating Nail House's Blanco gel, their white gel as well. I'm going to be pretty much creating Frenchens Frenches on all of these nails. And I'm going to do so using my Nail House liner brush in the 25 millimeter. Other than creating that press one set that I did for my girl Kanisha, this will be my first time doing moss nails on myself. I've been wanting to do um, some moss nails on myself for some time now. I wanted to try them last year, but I don't really like, well, I won't say I don't like doing um, nails out of like season because I like do whatever nails I want to when I feel like it. But I just wanted to wait until the next spring time to try out moss nails and this was the perfect time to try it out. Um, because it's not like a full moss set, it's like a mixture, like a moss, moss nails, like a freestyle pretty much. So anyway, I'm going to begin this design with 
creating all of my French tips first as a base, like all of the Frenches, get that out of the way. And then I'm gonna be applying everything else on top. For the time being, I'm gonna let you all watch this part. Y'all, I just love this white gel from Nail House. Like, literally, as y'all can see, I literally only need one coat, and that's it. I don't have to do two. It is that opaque. This gel, as well as their black gel, is always out of stock. Like, always, when I tell you all. Um, not when I tell you all, but like I tell you all. It's, they're always out of stock because they are that good. Um, so, y'all can't get it currently, but this white gel is so good. When it come back in stock, I'll let you all know and you all have to jump on it because it is that good one coat only super opaque also speaking of nail house i don't know how many y'all caught that in my last live not my last live my last video with the bling nails if you haven't checked that video out check that one out too love those nails but i was talking about in that last video how i went live the other day swatching nail house's new easter basket collection beautiful 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 spring colors Shoot, I really thought about using, like, one of them for this set, but I wanted to keep it, um, you know, like, just with the gels and things, not, like, any acrylic, like, colored acrylic, um, because I was going for a particular look. As you all know, it's a recreation of a set that I did for Kanisha, um, and I put it on the screen earlier in the video, but anyway, um, yes, they just came out with a new Easter collection, the Easter basket collection, beautiful colors, and they also came out with a few nudes. They were out of stock because the girls bought it out but um the collection is back in stock as well as all the individuals that sold out they're back in stock currently i did check i think earlier today and they're all still available and i'm posting this video tomorrow so it should they all should still be in stock um when you all check but beautiful colors you all have to get y'all's hands on at least one or two of them they are beautiful pastel colors with like a little shimmer in them and then the nudes are just so beautiful it's a few different shades of nudes we got some shears um and like different like shades of nudes and uh light and dark yeah so check uh nail house's website the link to their website is in the description you all can use my code portia for savings also real quick before i go i wanted to ask something meaning to point this out or ask you all how do you all like my new desk mat like i don't know how many of you all noticed or um know how my previous one look but how do you all like this one here i personally love it i think it's like super colorful and like more of my vibe and my style than the old one is a little bit more duller um this one is like more colorful more fun um these words did come out because i custom made this mat here on zazzle i pretty much just got my logo and printed it all over the mat um and you know bought it but um they the words did come out a little bit larger than i would expected and um i was just hoping that that wasn't like I wish they were like a little bit smaller, but they're still cute. I just don't want it to be like super distracting. What do you all think about this new mat here? Do you all like my old one because it was more subtle? Um, or do you all like this one? And do you all think it's a little distracting? 
let me know. I love it. But I want to know what you all think because essentially y'all are watching these videos and they are essentially for you all. So, but anyway, I'm not going to change it. I just want to know y'all's opinion. That, that's it. <laughs> All right, so this is how we're looking so far. I'm gonna go ahead and, oh, I only did one coat on them all, by the way. I'm gonna go ahead and do two coats, though, of this glitter gel on the index fingernail, and then we're gonna move on into applying the the malls and the charms and everything and the crystals and everything. Um, by the way, you are gonna see that a couple of the nails or, like, yeah, a couple of the nails with the gel didn't cure so good. like you will see on the sides it didn't cure it's starting to bubble um whenever your gel polish bubble it's because you build up the gel too thickly in that area and it didn't cure all the way maybe you had your hand well sometimes it could be the way you hold your hand in the lamp but more, majority of the time it's because you build it up a little bit too thickly in that area um and or you didn't um like there's something on the nail like some lint or something like that but in this case i know it's not the lint it's because i built it up too thickly in that corner without thinning it out before curing it but because too for those y'all who don't know my nails be pop off like i do a certain method where i'm able to pop the nails off right afterward so i didn't like care too much about that part um but it had to you know had i been wearing these nails or keeping them on i definitely would have removed that gel and did it over you definitely don't want to keep bubbing bubbling bubbing bubbling or bubble <laughs> y'all it's time for me to go to sleep you definitely don't want to keep gel that has bubbled up or is peeling and or wrinkled you know what i'm trying to say on the nail you definitely want to remove that because it's only going to cause it to um the gel to lift up but um so i'm gonna go ahead and continue on with applying the second coat of this glitter gel on the index fingernail i'm going to buff the green nails and the um glitter nail because i'm going to be applying crystals in the moss over top those two and you don't want it to be like a slick smooth surface when you're doing things like that you want to go ahead and buff it out so that it can be etched up a little bit to where um it can be good like if you're going to be wearing them and they don't like you know come off you know so easily or anything so yeah so there on the green nail you can see exactly what i was talking about with the polish like bubbled or wrinkled um because it was piled up a little bit too thickly in that corner there and it wasn't smoothed out so it didn't cure like properly or all the way um but then on the also on the pinky nail there just some gel spilled over on the side and it cured like that so you definitely don't want to keep either of those if that was to happen you were actually keeping your nails on go ahead and remove that whole gel from the whole nail and redo it because it would only wrinkle and begin to like lift up and peel so yeah also i went ahead and went in with not polishes um top coat which is my first time using it since i um got it for those of y'all who don't know i unboxed a new package from not polish they said they had sent me the other day in the mail but um that's something that i haven't tried on my actual nose yet so i went ahead and tried it out love the top coat and i went ahead and top coated the nails that i will just be doing um like crystal and try and work over it um and got that out the way first and all of that so now we're gonna move on to applying the moss to the nails this moss here i got from amazon i can leave the link to the moss in the description below for you all um i'm gonna go in with applying the charms and things with this rhinestone um glue y'all do not mind me girl is a little tired but um with the rhinestone glue from a cart that i got from amazon um also as you all can see, I already have my tray of like little flowers and things that I use for Kanisha set that I put out way too many and I just didn't put them away because I'm like, I'm going to just go ahead and do the recreation of it and might as well leave it there. You know what I'm saying? So, but anyway, this is my first time doing moss nails and I guess there's not really like way to do this. Like pretty much I just apply the glue to the nail first. You want to put a good amount of the, the glue to the nail so that you know it can stick really good and of 
course again if you're wearing these they won't like go anywhere um i just pretty much took the moss pieces and broke it up with my hands and i'm using tweezers to kind of like just pick it up and place it wherever i feel like it can go there's no like particular fancy way of doing this you just put it on the nail wherever you feel like it goes build it up as thick as you want to fill it in as much as you want to or what have you um i only apply the moss to like the top part of the nail like same thing i do with crystals whenever i'm applying bling to like you know like a full bling nail or a french bling i don't like to apply anything to the sides of the nails because i do not like to lose my shape of the nail I like for my shape to still peek through so that's why i literally do it only on the top not the sides none of that because that would make your nails a little bit more bulky if you like that look then that's fine but i don't like to go in on the like the total sides with anything crystals this moss nothing i'm not gonna do it it's gonna be like pretty much on the top of the nails if that makes sense and as i go up towards the cuticle area i will um use like a little bit less and less so it can be a little bit more thinned out and taper so it's not like super bulky after you all while the glue the glue is still wet y'all the glue that i'm using has to be cured in order for it to be dry so i'm just moving around and placing it how i want it to be after i'm done like completely filling it in i go ahead and cure it for 120 seconds two minutes and um i'm gonna you all are gonna see that i take my scissors and go ahead and clean up the edges um you can leave it like that if you want to i've seen a lot of people just kind of like leave it crazy looking but i don't like to um i just wanted to clean it up and again reiterating that i like to keep the shape of my nail i wanted to keep that um that was very important to me so i went ahead and just took some scissors and cleaned up the moss um, you know, kind of like giving it a shape up <laughs> and then I pretty much take my finger and fluff it out, you know, to how I want it, like to my desire. So that's just how I did it. After I do this to both the ring fingernail and the thumbnail, you all are going to see I go in with my desired charms and everything like that. But I'm not going to talk, you know, you all to death. I'm going to let you go ahead and watch me do this and I'll pop back in in a bit. I also wanted to pop in real quick to say that um as you all can see the gel on my like nails the color the green does not totally match up with the moss nails i did a better match with when i did kanisha's nails her set of nails which you all will see that video will be coming soon but um i realized when i was looking i'm like hmm it's not like the same green really and it's because instead of uh what was it jungle the jungle gel polish from nail house i used madam glam's I believe lime green for her set so this green wasn't totally matching up and i didn't really like i kind of just trusted that those were the three greens that i mixed the first time i did the nails kanisha's nails her press ones um so i went ahead and just mixed it and was like okay it's gonna match but as you all can see it doesn't totally match like exactly but it doesn't really matter it's still cute and yeah like it doesn't matter that much Anyway, now you all can see that I'm complete with applying the moss to the nails. And now I'm going to go ahead and apply my, like, um, flowers, butterflies, whatever. Like, give it, like, it's, you know, pretty much giving spring 
it reminds me of like giving scissor like i love this look so much i'm just gonna be applying butterflies all type of um different little flowers 3d flowers and um like pearls and things like that Alrighty y'all, so that's pretty much how these two moss nails are looking. I absolutely love, love, love them. I'm obsessed. I love what the moss nails you can, they're pretty much like, you know, all unique. Like none of them is one the same because you can add different little flowers and butterflies and things to each single one. Um, also I did not notice at all that the thumb was way shorter than the rest of the nails until like a good amount of time into this set, <laughs> which, and it's okay. Um, it's totally fine, but yeah, it just kind of looked funny after notice noticing. Um, but no, it's all good. So now that I have those moth nails out of the way for the most part, I'm going to go ahead and begin my little bling, uh, nails, my next nail to tackle. Um, I wanted to incorporate 
just like Kanisha's nails and shout out to Kanisha for the inspo as well um you know like the flowers into the bling nail and add bling all around it just bling it out you know totally and like just like with my moss nails, like I was telling you all, I do not like to apply anything to the sides of my nails because I don't like to make it look bulky, like wide, and just take away from the shape of the nail. With my bling nails, as you all can see, I also like to apply different like little shapes and things. I don't like to just do all around crystals. I think it looks very much more prettier with um with like shapes so yeah i'm gonna do that top coat the nails and then i'm gonna add a couple of charms on that middle fingernail there and that will be all she wrote you all but i'm gonna try finish watching the entire rest of the process and i'll pop back in later
Alrighty, y'all. This is how they came out. I'm super freaking obsessed y'all like i love these so much they are screaming very much spring very much like garden vibes like i love these so freaking much like i just love them i love them i love them first time doing i'm doing moss nails on myself and i just love them i have to credit my girl kanisha for coming up with this layout design of the design like beautiful and again her video of her press ones will be will be coming soon but y'all i love these so freaking much can't choose a favorite nail if you all can choose your favorite nail comment in the comment section below but like i just can't these i just can't i don't know i can't i don't really have much else to say these are screaming spring we are officially in spring although it's still cold outside but we're in spring y'all and i just love these so much like I can't put too many more words together to express how I feel about these. They are just absolutely beautiful. If you all enjoyed this video and love these nails as much as I do and made it to the end here, um, I want you all to comment in the comment section below some like the bouquet flower emoji. Comment that in the comment section below so I know you watched this far. But like this video, give it a thumbs up if you all enjoyed. Um, comment your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already and turn on your bell notifications so that you're notified each and every single time that I post a new video. And I'm coming with the spring looks, y'all. Give me, you know, give a girl just a little moment. I got y'all. I got y'all. But this is probably like top tier. This is probably like my top one that's What's, whatever is going to come after this is probably my top one <laughs> even though everything that i do i absolutely love but these these are it y'all like these yeah these take the cake for me but thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you all in the next one bye for now